Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video, which will show you how you can create a realistic mirror inside of your Unreal Engine. So first of all, if you just want to create a mirror material, I'm going to talk about it immediately, but then I'm going to talk about the problems that most all of those who create that initial mirror material will face and that's the simple fact that it's not that reflective and it's presenting a kind of weird image. This video will then show you how you can change that and get it working. So first of all I already created the mirror material, let me show you too by double clicking on it. It's really easy to do and you can do it basically in a minute and you get that reflective surface. So as you can see here, we have our single node that defines the color, which is white. That's a constant three vector, as you can see. The color here is white and it's connected to the base color and we have several other single constant vectors, which are metallic, specular and roughness. Roughness is of course zero and specular and metallic are one. These are all constant vectors. So it's a simple setup, you can create it and you can see it provides a mirror like or a fully reflective metallic mirror surface. However, let me save it. The problem is when you apply the same material to your level, you get something that is reflective but not actually a mirror. So let me drag it to this object here and here we have the mirror material and let's see it in the game. We start the level and there it is. Now this is a first person player capsule so all you can see is actually my rifle but still as you can see the reflection is weird. We have those kind of elements back there which don't exist in reality and everything is weirdly wobbly and not that precise how you can change that? Well, the main way to do it is to add a planar reflection. Here it is. A planar reflection is actually an addition to your level that creates reflections that are much more realistic and allows you to influence them in a much more complex manner. Now, I'm not going to do it because I already might have my planar reflection here and it's ready to be deployed but this is a big but and probably the most important and most problematic element of it all. You have to activate planar reflections in your level. To do that you have to go into your project settings and here you will locate the planar reflection element that needs to be turned on. So we can simply search it and it's under lighting here, Ex rendering settings, lighting, support global clip plane for planar reflection. It's activated in my case. In your case, it has to be activated too. Now, this is a big but. It will define as a new setting in your project that is required to have a restart. Once that restart goes through, you'll have to get through a process of rendering or project alignment with the new setting that will take you anywhere up to an hour depending on your project or even more depending of course on your PC on your hardware and everything else but it's going to take a long time while this happens a weird kind of a bug takes place and you have to leave your Unreal Engine to do that otherwise you won't be able to do a lot of stuff because things are kind of half working. As you can see in my previous video, it looks like a bug. It's not actually a bug, but it's some kind of a half-baked process that you need to keep going until it's finished. But when it's finished, you can simply add a planar reflection here, like I did previously, and move it behind your, as you can see, it's already reflective but it's not going to be in the level as it is. You have to move it behind your surface, mirror surface, here. And let's add it a bit behind it. Now it's front, it's behind. Line reflection, here it is. 
and let's see the mirror now. And here we are, let's see how the mirror looks like at this point. As you can see, it's much more reflective, we have that background here, the gun that I'm using is clearly visible, in some, of course, positions it gets a little muffled and blurry, but it's working, the mirror is actually a mirror at this point, if you would use the same principle in a third person project, you would see your character clearly and precisely in the same mirror so planar reflection is the key element here it's the main difference between a mirror material that is blurry and a mirror material that is actually working as it should not only blurry original materials are not just blurry but they also have this reflection that is kind of weird presents things that are not there and so forth now the last thing you need to know about planar reflection is to actually be able to modify its element as you can see i have my planar reflection here set up and you have a range of settings here normal distortion strength pre-filtered uh, pre roughness distance from the fade out start distance from the plane fade out and uh, a lot of things that you can modify change and adapt to find the best option for your level and for the first of all level of reflection as you want to have and different distances you want to have for it so for example if you have a level where you're creating a mirror in a bathroom it doesn't have to have that long and distant reflection if you're creating a huge mirror that's set in an open space like for example on a meadow you want to have a different setting for that so the best way is to kind of try to modify these and see the results there is no perfect setup for any situation you should only modify it according to your needs but yes the planar reflection element is the actual thing that will create a realistic mirror unlike having simply a mirror like material that does reflect some images and light but doesn't reflect it as a true real life mirror should so there you have it hopefully you found this video useful i would love to hear from you if you have any questions comments or ideas or problems i'm a beginner like you but hopefully i can at least give you some ideas of course if you're first time you're subscribed to my channel there is a bunch of other ways how you can support me but subscription is the best easiest quickest and most optimal means of doing the same leave a like and I would love to see you on my new Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Until then, have loads of fun and bye bye.